Hello everybody, Geekers here, coming to you with, uh, June's Loot Crate. This is a heavy Loot Crate this month. Um, this month's theme is Dystopia. I know we have Fallout items, back to, uh, Terminator 2 and Bioshock, to name a few of the items. So let's take a look. Pat to the inside. Ooh, I can always feel something soft and fluffy. Ooh. Ooh. Let's dive into it. Let's look at the t-shirt first, because I always love the t-shirts. And I also will say the end lining of this box is actually like a matte finish, really shiny and slick. So, ooh, I wonder what that's going to be for. First of all is the... The T-shirt and the t ooh, uh, yes, I'm happy with the T-shirt. It's a RoboCop T-shirt. Nice, I love that movie, the original one. Second one, the remake, not so bad. It's not so bad. We have a Okay, I get to contact Loot Crate because my Bioshock keychain is in there. So that is interesting. Here is the pin for Loot Crate, which is a Fallout bomb. Uh, next thing we have is... A 300-piece matrix puzzle. I actually don't have any place to put one of these together, but I probably will take it somewhere and put it together. Um, this is my first Dorbs figure, and it's a uh, power-armored Fallout figure. And... A middle... Terminator 2 thingy. So let's see what the book has to say. Oh, it's a metal print. Okay. For the loop here. Okay, well, I already got that. Power suit, the Robocop t shirt. Ah. So that would have been the the key blank. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to contact him about that. And the loot crate pin if you have Fallout Shelter has some DLC for a Fallout Shelter game. And that is about it. Let's take a look on the inside of the box. Since the theme is dystopia. And open up more art inside. Okay, I see. The inside of the box unfolds. for a display case for your dorbs. That's actually kind of cool. Tape that together and just stick your dorbs in there. Be a nice little display piece. Or for any other Fallout merch that you have. So yeah. That, besides me not getting my pin, I'm going to rank these. Starting with the t-shirt for me being a old school Robocop fan I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10 the Matrix puzzle 5 out of 10 not big a puzzle person but Matrix thing so that's cool the metal print 
I'm gonna give it a three out of ten because there's no, really no way to hang this unless you get like blue tack and stick it on the back but still still a metal print so that's not that bad I keep looking over <laughs> here because I've got two monitors and I'm trying to also keep an eye on one other thing uh, the keychain I saw a picture of it I have no Bioshock things, so I'm going to give... I I'm, I'm can't grade this since I don't have it. And the Dorbs... Well, I do like Pop Funkos, and I do collect them. This is my first Dorbs, so it's... I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Not a bad crate, just some things that... Some stuff that... Not my cup of tea. But other than that, not too bad. So this has been Geekers with a Loot Crate unboxing. Follow the code below if you want to start getting your own uh, Loot Crate. Um, I will note that there is a price going up because they're, we're actually starting to get some really cool items. Um, so yeah, there's that. I say cool items and like, we'll see, a lot of these are not my cup of tea. The t-shirt, fantastic. I, I, one of the main reasons I'm keeping my Loot Crate is the t-shirts. I love geeky themed t-shirts. And last month, everything I got out of it, I just loved. Um, but other than that, uh, this has been Geekers, like I said, with Loot Crate Unboxing. I shall see you later. Hello, everybody. Geekers here with a quick follow-up video. I have here the replacement item from my Loot Crate um, that you just watched the video of. Um, and here it is. It is the Bioshock Infinite key blank um let's take it out of the package real quick because I, I really do want to see what this looks like um really nice on one side you have the bird and on the other side you have the cage and if you do not know what that is you go play bioshock infinite right now um really nice heft to it uh, i do like the the style of its shape. I, I wonder if you could actually use this to get a key made. Um, collectible, not a toy, not intended for children. Then why do I have it? <laughs> but that is it. And that's one thing I will say about uh, Loot Crate. I, the day I recorded the video, which was the was a Thursday, I believe. And I sent the information on, and they got it to me. It was, a, it was a, either the beginning of the week or the middle of the week. Um, and I contacted them right away. And it came in a Monday, a week after I got my Loot Crate. Or a few days after I got my Loot Crate. That's why I love Loot Crate's customer service. So, yes, I do recommend this a 10 out of 10 because I'm a huge Bioshock fan. This has been Geekers, and thank you for watching the follow-up to the Loot Crate video that's on the Loot Crate video.